How does coronary artery disease often show up? How do the symptoms start developing? Well, they develop when plaque develops, and it develops predominantly two different ways. One is the fast way, the acute way, and the sudden way. That's when plaque develops fairly quickly, but it gets inflamed. It's got multiple different components in it. It's got cholesterol, it's got white blood cells, it's got red blood cells, muscle cells in it, and growth factors. All of that mixes to become inflamed. Enzymes come in from the bloodstream, wear away at the lining of the plaque, and then it ruptures. That's the sudden way. And that's the way that gets people for a sudden heart attack. The other way is a slower way. We had that similar process, but the artery doesn't rupture. There's something that's able to help stabilize that artery. And there may not be enough inflammation to cause a rupture, but there's enough to create a slow smoldering process. The immune system kicks in and starts converting some of that dangerous inflamed stuff into calcium. What's crazy, it's the same type of calcium that we find in our bones. Some of those white blood cells in the plaque actually become like bone producing cells. Eventually that plaque will grow, but it'll become calcified. And then at the end of the spectrum, it just starts to develop slowly, narrow that artery progressively. That's when chest discomfort develops, shortness of breath. It's not sudden, and it'll develop slowly, very different than the first example, which is a sudden presentation.